So this is the inside of Convertry. After you log into your Convertry account, you will be able to see your pages funnels that you've built. Here's an example funnel that I've built with consist of about five pages. As you can imagine, each of these pages has to be edited and created and built separately. That's how it is with most landing page builders. So that's absolutely all right. I like the way Convertry puts everything in one dashboard and puts it in one screen for you to view how the main page leads to an opt-in page, which leads to a thank you page, which leads to a replay page, and then a checkout page, right? It points one page to the other with the help of arrows. So it lets Convertry system know that one page should move to another one after an action happens on one page. And you also have things like analytics and scripts that you can use across the funnels that you will build with Convertry. Now, let's try and see how it looks like when we try to edit a page. Now, there are a few things I like about Convertry as to how it shows your funnels step by step, page by page, and what page leads to another page. But inside of the landing page builder, looks like any other landing page builder out there in the market, such as Unbounce or Lead Pages. To the left of your screen, you will find a menu to add to drag and drop elements onto your landing page. So you have things like collections where you can pick and choose templates for headers, for footers, for forms, for hero sections of your landing page and for your body text. You also have several other elements such as text, images, form elements, panels, separators, media, countdown timers, HTML elements, Facebook comments or acquisitory quids that you can add to your landing page. And on the top, you have a few more menu options which you can use to create products, add forms, create layers or add specific actions for your page or for a specific element on your landing page. Now you have to design the page for both desktop and mobile. After you create a page for desktop, you'll have to remobilize it and make sure that your elements are all arranged properly for your mobile view. Here are a few things from marketing experience that I find lacking in Convertry. The first thing I don't see in Convertry is the ability to add sections. Now with any other landing page builder in the market, you usually have a way to add sections to your landing page. Sections are the building blocks of your landing page. You add a section first, then you add elements to that particular section to help build out your landing page one section after the other. Now I don't see the sections available here and what you instead have is what is called as a panel. And to add that panel, you need to click on this panel option here. The panel shows up like a box which you need to drag and drop here, overlapping another section that's already been built. Now I need to be sure to drag and drop that particular section below this section so that it sits all right. And then I need to drag, open this particular panel all the way to the grid end, go here, make it full width, change the particular element property to background color, let's say white, and then add any element I want onto that section. To add a section to your landing page is a mammoth task, trying to drag and drop and move elements around and move previously created sections around and add a panel instead of a section. Now, once you add a panel, if, you, if I want to add images, I need to click on an image, drag it, drop here. And let's say I want to choose a particular image here to add to the panel I just created. I would select that image and as you can see, that particular image comes here and I can drag it into my panel, which is all right. But I want you to notice that if the image is not inside the section that you just created, it is not a part of that panel. So that means if you move this section around, it moves on its own without collecting the image that you just added. What you want to see through this is when you create that landing page and you, as you keep adding elements to the page and as you keep building your panels, if they are not precisely sitting inside that panel, your panel won't move if you, if and when you want to move that panel, along with the elements inside that panel, which becomes notoriously annoying as you create your page, as you go along while you have lots of panels and lots of images and lots of other elements inside those panels. The second one I wanted to talk to you about is the shocking unavailability of forms inside Convertry. Now there are forms, don't mistake me, but to add a form, is not as typical or straightforward as it is with other landing pages such as Unbounds and Lead Pages. With Unbounds and Lead Pages, you just had to click on a button to have a form here and that form can be edited and shaped and created any way you want. But here inside Convertry, one way to add forms is to go to the Forms option on the top menu, click on Forms and see if you can add a form here from the Forms item and click on New Form. Here you will find that you have, you are limited to Google Forms, 
webinar geo forms or forms from html code which are severely limiting for an average small business owner or a marketer who might or might not be good with html code now that means i need to create my form elsewhere and bring it back here and put my form into this particular box which says new form that's shockingly annoying because it has to be simple and straightforward and i cannot dabble with html or css don't worry convertry does have a way to add ready made forms to your panel or your landing page another way to add forms is to come here and look for form elements and click on it you have a way to add text inputs and then you have a way to add submit button so i could create a form right here by choosing these elements and creating my form the way i wanted it to but i don't i really don't like the fact that it's such a multi step process that it takes my time away right so I, to create this form now i need to spend time aligning it positioning it naming it changing it and ensuring that each of my form fields and submit fields are built to the brand on the page so i need to change everything here in element properties and kind of change form settings and everything else so it's not as intuitive as it as i would have liked the one thing i like about convertry on the other hand is the fact that you can build layers on top of your landing page so if you have a landing page here you could build what is called as layers now with layers you can create opt in forms or you could create an exit intent form or you could create an a light box or you could create a particular box that shows up after you click on a button or you could create anything like that which sits on top of your landing page or is only visible when somebody does take an action on your landing page for example a simple way to define a layer is to create a opt in page or an opt in form which shows up after a visitor is on your landing page for about let's say 5 seconds or 6 seconds so layers is a great way to create those on convertry then there is an emphasis on products add your products product groups checkout contact details addresses payment details and things like that so you could actually start picking up or, or collecting payments from your landing page itself now this is a seriously flawed concept you need to understand that landing pages are the first point of contact for most visitors who see your brand for the first time if so they're not going to buy from you when they see a buy button right away the purpose of landing page is to generate leads the purpose of landing page is to make sure that you collect leads and nurture them so that you can sell to them later on on a proper website or on another page that has a checkout option enabled if you use landing pages with checkout options or products right on your landing page sales are not likely to come by and even if they do come it can be attributed to pure luck and not a sustainable way to actually run a business so i don't really like the option that convertry is giving which will ensure that small business owners and marketers will be tempted to put in checkout boxes on their landing page thereby not seeing any results that they they should actually be seeing with their landing pages so these are the three things that i actually don't like about convertry so i hope that helps check out other landing page builders that are much better for your use case subscribe to my channel and click on the bell notification to receive any updates as i post new videos each week